a top Republican Party finance official is resigning after it was revealed Trump lawyer Michael Cohen negotiated a non-disclosure deal for him that included a $1.6 million payment to a former Playboy model in exchange for her silence about an affair. The deal bears remarkable similarities to an agreement reached between Donald Trump and porn star Stormy Daniels that was signed by Cohen and Daniels, but not Trump. Both were negotiated by Cohen, Trump's longtime personal attorney. Under the arrangement, Republican National Committee Deputy Finance Chair Elliot Brody, who was appointed by Trump, agreed to pay $1.6 million to a woman who claimed she was impregnated by him during a sexual affair, the Wall Street Journal reported. Both agreements use the pseudonyms David Dennison and Peggy Peterson to conceal the identity of the signatories. The woman alleged that Mr. Brody had paid her for an exclusive sexual relationship of one to two years. One of the people said, Brody acknowledged the affair in the journal's story. I acknowledge I had a consensual relationship with a Playboy playmate, Mr. Brody said in a statement to the paper. Within hours of the report, the journal and other outlets reported that Brody had resigned his post. At the end of our relationship, this woman shared with me that she was pregnant. She alone decided that she did not want to continue with the pregnancy and I offered to help her financially during this difficult period. The married Brody said, It is unfortunate that this personal matter between two consenting adults is the subject of national discussion just because of Michael Cohen's involvement, Brody complained in his statement to the paper. Mr. Cohen reached out to me after being contacted by this woman's attorney, Keith Davidson, he wrote, mentioning her attorney. Although I had not previously hired Mr. Cohen, I retained Mr. Cohen after he informed me about his prior relationship with Mr. Davidson, he said. The agreement also has parallels to one reached by former Playboy model Karen McDougal, who claimed she had a sexual affair with Trump, and National Enquirer publisher American Media Incorporated. Davidson represented both Daniels and McDougal. RNC Chair Rona McDaniel accepted Brody's resignation, a source familiar with the matter told DailyMail.com. Under that agreement, McDougal got paid $150,000 for the publisher in exchange for exclusive rights to her story, along with some magazine covers and fitness columns she would write. The Inquirer never ran the story. AMI is run by David Pecker a friend of President Trump's. The bombshell report comes just days after the FBI raided Cohen's office and hotel on Monday. Among the items authorities were looking for were communications surrounding the Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougal agreements. Daniels got paid $130,000 in exchange for her silence. Cohen says he paid her out of his own funds. Cohen is under criminal investigation largely over his personal business dealings, according to a court filing by prosecutors Friday. He has been under investigation for months. The first Brody quarterly payment was scheduled for December. According to the journal, Brody is married to attorney Robin Rusenzweig. The story caps off an extraordinary hat trick at the leadership of the RNC put in place by Trump. With all three top officials facing either scandal or investigation, former RNC finance chair Steve Wynn resigned earlier this year after reports on accusations of sexual misconduct going back years involving Wynn and women who provided massages at the Las Vegas hotel he owns. Cohen is deputy finance chair of the RNC, and is reportedly being probed over possible bank fraud, his ownership of New York City taxi medallions, and the non-disclosure agreements. Leaked emails published in the Huffington Post show Brody's wife, Rosen Zweig, sought an $80 million payout if she were able to bring an end to a Justice Department investigation into a money laundering case involving a Malaysian businessman and assets stolen from one Malaysia development per had. Rosen Zweig, who also goes by Brody, says she was hacked. Her retainer agreement with businessman Lo Tech Cho was among the emails that showed up online.